coordinate of three points are P, Q, R. Find the value of constant E. Okay, E is here. If P, Q, R are collinear. So, collinear means they are on the same line. So, on the same line, that means they are parallel. So, we can find the uh, gradient. So, so, gradient PQ M is equal to Y2 minus Y1 divided by X2 minus X1. So, Y2. So, this one is X1, Y1, X2, Y2. So, this one is uh, Y2 is negative 12 minus Y1 is negative 6 divided by X1 is X2 is 3, I'm sorry, minus X1 is negative 1. So, negative 12 plus 6 is negative 6. Divided by 3 minus minus is 3 plus 1 is 4. So, we get negative 3 over 2. Now, we know the gradient of PQ is 3 over 2. So, M PQ is equal to negative 3 over 2. And since it is collinear, so the gradient of Q to R or P to R is also equal to negative 3 over 2. We can use either one. You can use either P, R or Q, R. But you see here, if you use a P, R, the value would be larger. Lah, but it's the same. Lah. So, M. So, M. QR is equal to Y2 minus Y1 divided by X2 minus X1. Since I'm using QR, so this one will be new X1, Y1 and this one will be X2, Y2. So this one is equal to Y2 is 6 minus Y1 is negative 12 divided by X2 is E minus X1 is 3. So is equal to so we know mqr is equal to mpq because they are on the same line which is equal to mpq which is negative 3 over 2 so 6 minus minus will become 6 plus 6 plus 12 is 18 divided by e minus 3 is equal to negative 3 over 2 now we can cross multiply so 18 times 2 is 36 is equal to negative 3 e minus 3 so neg negative uh, 3 times e is negative 3e, negative 3e. So, 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. Negative 9 times negative is plus 9. 36. So, here we can see here. E, we can be bring. So, here we have, sorry, 36 is equal to negative 3e plus 9. So, E, we bring here and 36 we bring to the back. So, negative 3e will become 3e is equal to 9 minus 36. So, 3e is equal to negative 27. e is equal to negative 27 divided by 3 which is equal to negative 9. So, we know that e is negative. e is equal to negative 9. pq is perpendicular to pr. So, perpendicular, we know that m1 times m2 is equal to negative 1. So, we know mpq is negative 3 over 2. So, let M1 is equal to MPQ is equal to negative 3 over 2. So, M2 is equal to negative 1 divided by M1 or negative 1 divided by negative 3 over 2. So, negative negative, we get 2 over 3. So, we know MPQ is 2 over 3. This is MPQ. So, PQ and PR. So, for example, if you have PQ here, then PR would be here so now we have the pq already so we know pq is pq is negative 3 over 2 and pr is 2 over 3 so now r this one is r so we need to find the gradient of pr so we know that m pr is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 so p and r which is equal to y2 is 6 minus y1 is here negative 6 divided by x2 is e minus x1 is negative 1 is equal to so we know that mpr is perpendicular to mpq which is equal to 2 over 3 2 over 3 so 6 minus negative 6 is equal to 12 over e Minus minus will become plus 1 is equal to 2 over 3. Now we can cross multiply. So when we cross multiply, so I'm sorry, 
okay here so 12 times 3 is 36 is equal to 2 e plus 1 so 2 times e is 2 e 2 times 1 is 2 36 so 2 e is equal to 36 minus 2 which is equal to 34 so e is equal to 34 divided by 2 which is equal to 17 so we know that e is equal to 17 